Joining us once again to answer your Facebook questions is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. And thanks again for joining us, Lieutenant Governor. The first question coming from a viewer named Randy. He says, is there a schedule on when the 14-day quarantine on inter-island travel may be lifted? Uh, there is significant discussion about that. There's not a final date, but I'd like to see it by the end of the month. I think that with our, our numbers this low, we don't really have significant risk of transmission between islands because we don't even have, at the moment, significant transmission even within our islands. So there has been some discussion about uh, when to do it. It looks like it's now too close to Memorial Day to make that deadline, but that would have been my preference. I think by the end of the month, we open up inter-island travel and then about a month later, that's our opportunity to begin the process of travel from the mainland. Tanya Crowderfield is asking, if retail is opening and we can head to the malls, why can't we employ the same social distancing recommendations at churches and beaches? Uh, well, I think that we probably should start moving that direction. Beaches are uh, a pretty safe area compared to many. Definitely the malls are no safer than the beaches. Beaches, if you, if you were able to just have your own family cluster and you were 10 feet away from any others, you're not going to pose much risk. And that is a position I've taken uh, with the team, and I think we should move that way. Obviously, I have a, a great concern that people are missing out on their spiritual lives because people are suffering quite a lot. But being in church in close proximity, that's like a large gathering, and, and it can be a concern. That should also um, come soon. But there has been more, more worry. I think what we'll first do is go to groups of no larger than 10. And I don't know if that will help church services very much. We did do something, for instance, for 12-step programs. For groups of 10 or less, we opened them up. So it's a part of the process. And I am very cognizant of the church's needs. Chuck Williams is asking, how is the outlook for re-entry to the state with a negative test within 72 hours of return? How far away is a workable solution? Well, we just heard that they're going to do 11 million tests in 10 days in, in uh, the Wuhan district in China. If they can do it, we certainly should be able to approximate that. That would be a whole year's worth of travel uh, to the state of Hawaii, and they're going to do it in 10 days. So I hope that we can get there. I think it's an absolute must, at least the process of people going through a test. And I'm not even that concerned about which test, as long as it's a, a uh, verified test. Uh, by a state government or state department of health because that process will diminish greatly the number of positive cases traveling in our midst. I think it can be done and I've worked on a process uh, with some of the uh, security folks and the emergency response folks uh, under the general's team. So we're moving forward. Another viewer, Shells Bells, is asking, do you feel that a lot more people are infected with the virus, not just those who were tested, considering that symptoms are not needed to be a carrier? There are more than the 635 people for sure, but I, we have now started to get some background data on the antibodies. For instance, uh, Hawaii Pacific Health has tested over 2,500 people, and though they haven't finalized their results yet, the number has been quite low, and that's among healthcare providers. Uh, well under a half percent was my understanding. So because those numbers are very low at the healthcare community level, I think they'll be even significantly lower out in the general community. So we don't have a number like New York had or some of the other states. We certainly have more than 635, but we don't have a giant number, and that's good for our health immediately, but it also means we don't have a lot of immunity here yet, so we have to be careful. Okay, and the final question from our viewer, Matthew. Why do we count out-of-state residents in our state's totals? Shouldn't they be counted with the state they're located? Uh, that is actually the process that we uh, use, and, and we, we count, sometimes we count our residents, people who have state residency here, but if they're living in some other state, they've been counted with us, just like other people's residents, if they're here, they count there. So it's a little confusing. I really think we should just count whoever is living here actively now. Uh, but once again, these numbers are just to show trends. The absolute number is less important than seeing whether we're trending up or we're trending down. And we continue to trend down and our hospitals are solid. So I don't want people to worry too much. 
just socially distance very intelligently as we open up the Kama Aina economy and we're going to do just fine. I do want to ask you one more question. What is your final message to residents, to those who might be confused because on one hand, state officials are saying we may extend that safer at home deadline beyond May 31st. On another hand, we are opening businesses. We're talking about reopening the economy. Do we stay at home? Do we go outside? What is your message? Well, my message is be smart at all times. Uh, the, the safer at home idea is instead of lingering at a park or at a beach for a bunch of hours where you could catch it, you're better off at home. But you do have to have a life and we have to have an economy. So we want people when they're out and about to wear a mask and socially distance. We are going to move to normalcy really fast, but there is still some concern that we get a hot spot and it sets us back. I know that that's not perfectly uh, clear, but here's the deal. We're going to get a lot more normal every two weeks, every virus cycle, and I'm happy to come and clarify exactly what we can expect. Uh, it's, it's a weird situation to have a global pandemic and try to be salvaging your economy. It's pretty much unprecedented. And we really do appreciate your time in trying to clarify everything for us every week. And you stay safe. We'll see you back here again soon. All right, and we'll be back.